good morning. So we just had breakfast and now we, we're outside but it's super windy and you can see the rain clouds are coming in. So we're back inside and we're gonna try to find some activities to do on the ship. If you're wondering how we're able to keep track of what's taking place on the ship, they do actually have an app that gives you a play-by-play -play as to what's happening. Um, you use it on airplane mode, it's a free app. It works with the Wi-Fi that they have on here, but the Wi-Fi that they have on the ship doesn't necessarily mean that you can text people. That's an additional, I think it, for 24 hours, it was like $56 a day. So basically, if you're interested in getting ripped off, by the internet. <laughs> but for the time being, we are um, headed down to the third floor. Everything takes place on the ninth floor. Oh, and we're on the first floor and we're taking the steps. I don't have a problem coming down the steps, but going up, I'm ready to fight DeAndre. But oh, it's not the end of the world. But um, yeah, we're gonna find something to do. They just announced Something about in the Amber Room, you can win a lot of prizes. DeAndre, what was it? They say you win a whole bunch of free stuff. So. Oh, okay, well I wanna play. <laughs> where there's a game that's about to take place. You had to put your name and your room number in the bucket so if you win something, well, you're placing a drawing number one. And if you win something, they'll send it to your room. But this is where we are. I'll show you all really quick. It's freezing in here. Presentation with your cruise director, Dustin. But we already have team orange back by the door of the theater with those raffle tickets. Hey everybody, make sure you feel one before the show starts. It's one very heavy and you have to be over the age of 18. And remember, you have to be present to win a present. That's it, hey guys. So we have the raffle tickets already for all of you right by the door of the theater with Team Orange. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, lick your neighbor's face. Do it. Oh, nasty. Some of you did it. <laughs> yeah, that way you're in the drawing to win something for free this morning. Who wants to win something, yeah? Well, we've got loads of prizes, so let's dive on in. That way we can get to all the free stuff. First off, I'm your cruise director. My name's Dustin. Everybody say hi, Dustin. Hi, everybody. Hello. And really quickly, where's all the planners at? The people that plan the cruise, got everything set up for the rest of their family. Give them a nice big round of applause. Give them now, where's everybody else that's been like, I hope I'm on the right ship? Yeah. For you guys, here's our itinerary. So Behind the scenes. So, I've actually never have played bingo before. So that's what we're getting into today because we're trying to be more adventurous. Last year we didn't play that much, do that much. Because we were okay with that, but what adds? We're gonna try to win today. The prize is a thousand dollars. Are we gonna win? Do you think we're gonna win? No. He said yes. I don't know, there was a glitch. I think we're gonna win, we have a pretty good chance. If you get three in a row on this strip, you can win $25,000. I don't think we're gonna win that. Focus. I don't think we're gonna win anything here. Carnival cash, praise. Depending on how badly this goes, it might make it into the video. If not, y'all will never know. Just got back from playing bingo. Bunch of losers. DeAndre, tell them how we lost. We were one ball away. One ball away from a thousand dollars, okay? As soon as they said B10, I said, ooh! As soon as I said, ooh! 
Someone yelled bingo across from I said, no, no, no. Check that. <laughs> Incorrect. That man's a thousand dollars richer. I'm sure he's a cheater. You know what? Actually, before we played bingo, he asked could he switch with us. And I was kind enough to switch with him. That never happened, but if it did happen that way, I'd be even more sick. I was so sick. Everybody at our table was like, oh. Yeah, that's how my insides felt. I, that's why I don't play games. I don't like to play games because I can't handle the outcome if it's not for me. I'm not adding that in the video. But, so we lost, we're losers, we ate. No. Now we're back in the room, it's about four-ish, maybe close to five. We're about to spend like three hours in the room just to rest because tonight is the formal dinner. Yeah. We have to iron our clothes. I'm gonna show y'all what we have to iron our clothes. Since I had to throw away my iron, since it's not allowed on the ship, which if I had, had I known that, would I have bought it? No. <laughs> Did I waste my money? Yes. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. So, really quick, I just wanna show you all a book that DeAndre and I have been reading in order to keep our love alive and on fire. <laughs> It is the five love languages. So in the morning, we'll get up and read a chapter and discuss and reflect on our relationship just to ensure we're still on the same page. And you know, it's never too late to improve something that you may not be the greatest at. So, I mean, I don't need to improve because I'm perfect, but uh, <laughs> just joking. I like this book a lot because it gives a lot of perspective. A lot of things that you already know, but to read it and to hear it is just like instilling like different thoughts in your mind. And I'm not saying if you don't read this book, you're not gonna have a healthy marriage or whatever. But not only can you better your relationship, your marriage, your relationship with your spouse, this could be like a great book to just understanding people better all together. A great source of communication. I feel like a lot of problems that everybody has is how they communicate. But by reading this book, I'm able to gain maybe some understanding with my friendships and just other relationships, acquaintances. <laughs> how am I gonna know about acquaintance? But y'all know what I mean. But um, yeah, this book is pretty good. We're on chapter two, probably gonna read chapter three now. Um, to be honest, I need a nap though. So, ta ta. We're in the process of getting ready for formal night. Everything's wrinkled. Going to go show y'all where the iron is. Okay, so this is where the magic's about to happen. I heard terrible things about this iron. This is my dress. <sighs> if in the next scene I'm wearing a black dress, you all know why. This one got ruined. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. <laughs> y'all try to tear you. Hello? Can I help you? Can I help you? 
DeAndre. 